Good morning, welcome to day 19. Wow, this is the lovely little Lages Hotel, restaurant, bar, tabac, salon de thé. Everything in this town is this place. Um, but it was, it was nice, even though we had to sit outside for an hour and a half waiting for them to open. But, you know, it's Monday. It's about 8.40, it's very cloudy. It's already got an auspicious start to the day. Rob's a little, uh, you know, woken up on the wrong side of the bed again, but uh, for different reasons. He's uh, trying to get himself back into a good mood. You know, they say if you smile, it will make you happy because it, you know, releases endorphins or something like that. So just, just smile. If you're sad, smile. And uh, it's supposed to make you feel better. <laughs> Let's hope it works. I will have to say one thing about our view today. Uh, there's not much of one. Um, I know we're still going through farmlands and this road is pretty straight, but yeah, the fog is just really, really thick. And of course, Rob decided to wear black today instead of red, so yeah, he shows up really well in this. But he didn't know that when he woke up. But it does look cool and ominous over there in that orchard of some kind, which now uh, we're into our walk and we're coming into our first town. This is Sorge. It's actually a place we were thinking about staying last night, but no guarantees we could have found a room at the refuge. And the lodges here was like 100 euros. And the lodges at Negronda was only 56. So we decided we weren't gonna risk it. Sure, we could have saved probably 40 euros if the, the jeet wasn't full. But we've been seeing quite a few people on the route, so we did what we thought was gonna be smarter move, just in case. Here we are in front of the church here in Sorge. And it's about, I don't know, quarter to 10, maybe? I'm thinking there was a bakery I passed. Right, yeah, right over there. Let's go see what they have. I really need something to drink. I think I might be coming down with a cold. Rob doesn't like getting cold. This looked like it might have been a good place to, to get something to drink, at least. Um, it even says they're, they're open today at 9.30. But, uh, yeah, it's locked. Oh, well. It's a neat place. Anyway, this is the uh, town square. And uh, there's another side of the church, but on the back side of the church, so I'm not sure. Well, it's not open, but maybe we'll go check the town over there. I know, I know. More moss covered stones, old walls. But, you know, they're old. I mean, they've been there a while. I mean, this path has been here a while. We're in the woods, and uh, there's an opening over there clearing out somebody's field, but. Yeah, these are, uh, these are walls that were put here for a reason. I mean, I guess to keep us uh, out of their property, but you know, that's some old walls. Those are some old rocks. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. From a distance, I thought, hey, that might be a good place to sit and, and take a break. But, uh, well, it still might be. Anyway, it's a well, but it's a, a well that uses leverage to, uh, to make it easier to get the water out. I mean, uh, they got the whole thing going on. They tell you all about it right here. And then uh, they got the math of it over here. You know, and, and there's your there's your math stuff. But it's, uh, it's pretty neat. I haven't seen anything quite like that yet. You know, they lower that down. There's a big rock on the end of it to counterbalance it. That's pretty neat. Um, so yeah, I'm probably not gonna take a seat there on the well. It looks like there's a little bit of a town up here. Maybe, somewhat, kind of. Well, there's buildings. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. Still along this wooded trail. There's lots and lots of old walls. Who knows how old? I mean, beginning to think, you know, how long does it take moss to grow on rocks? And I guess there's probably a lot of things. This is kind of cool that, that somebody built here, this little lean-to shelter. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on a lot of things. The type of rocks, the type of moss, the climate, you know, the amount of sun, the amount of, I don't know. Somebody out there tell me, how long does it uh, traditionally take moss to grow on rocks? You know, an estimate. Yeah. The CSI and NCIS guys would know, you know, based on what kind of moss it is and what kind of rocks it are. So maybe I should ask them. So we came out of the woods, across the road, right by this uh, chateau. It's way off there in the distance. We're not actually going towards it. And uh, we're actually going back into the woods again. We've been on this forest trail for a while. It's actually been not too bad, you know, muddy in places, and Rob's other favorite thing, mud and, you know, wet grass, but, eh, that's pretty. Not too far from uh, the road and the chateau, we've come across 
this uh, camp area. It could be a camp. Um, yeah, a retreat place. I don't know. It's got a, a lot of these tents. So I just to show it to you. I've never seen anything quite like that before in France. I mean, I haven't seen all of France, clearly. I've seen a lot of France, but uh, yeah. Clearly it's something organized. I mean, the fire things are right there. Yeah, all right. Go on that way. To the right. We've just been walking through the woods now for like hours, two, three hours. Then bam, we come to this opening and all of a sudden, bam. That's awesome. Uh, I'm guessing it's private property. I haven't seen a sign yet, but uh, there's a road up here. We're gonna see if we can get a little closer to it. But wow. Well, there's a chain across the road. So uh, it's about all we're gonna get. It's a 15th century uh, chateau. A rare example of a military architecture, but uh, that came from like 12th and 13th century, something like that. Uh, we're just gonna look at it again. That's that's pretty neat. So it actually turned into a very nice day here at the end. We're in Pedergo, uh, I think, out in front of this church. No idea what it's called, what it's about. We're staying uh, right over there. If you can kind of see an orangish tinted building, maybe it's pinkish. I don't know. We're enjoying a pre-packaged tuna sandwich and a Coke. No milk. Yeah, Bob's getting a cold. The last thing he can do is uh, drink some milk right now. We might go check out the town. We might not because we're not feeling so good. So we might just uh, call it a day. So we're winding our way through the lovely streets of Perigo looking for a, looking for a cathedral actually. I know we've seen the top of it a few times, but the streets are just awesome. You could walk around forever, but now that I see an opening up here, pretty sure we're going to come to what we're looking for. I mean, not 100% sure because, you know, I haven't actually seen the cathedral or looked at the map. I've just been looking for the uh, tower or, you know, what do they call that right now? Rob's way too tired to think. When I think of it, I'll come back to you. This is the right spot. I had to do that little game, you know, you play as a kid and you put your hands together, you, you fold them up and then you open it up and say, here's the church, here's the steeple and open the doors, look at all the people. Yeah, this is a... Uh, what I saw, I saw the steeple. It's pretty darn huge. But this is the cathedral here in uh, Perigo. I think it's Perigo. I'm really not sure 100%. But this is a neat little old town. Some celebration must have been going on. I don't think this stuff's out all the time, but you know, I could be wrong. But it looks like weather would affect that. <laughs>